Hey guys, Marco over here with MR Printing Equipment, and today we're going to do a demo on how to replace the 20 micron black disc filters in your iImage ST and STE1 lines. Now, you know it's time to replace the black disc filter when you're starting to miss complete channels like we are over here on our current SD we have in our showroom. You can see print head number one's good, two's good, three's missing. This is also something that you should be doing as a regular maintenance about every six months to replace all the filters on your machine. So the tools that you're going to need to replace your 20 micron black disc filter on your iImage ST or STE are going to be some gloves, which are optional but highly recommended. You're going to need a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench, a couple shop rags, and of course your brand new 20 micron black disc filter. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my cover. And on this particular time, we're gonna go ahead and replace head number three's black disc filter. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna flush out that line with the cleaning solution first. So I'm gonna close off head number two and head number one. And I'm gonna set the valve for head number three to the second position for the flushing solution. I'm gonna come over to my manual clean and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit flush. I'm gonna press and hold it to start flushing out the line. Now as I'm holding it, I'm going to take my purge valve and I'm going to open it to allow the flushing solution to run through the purge line. This process here, depending on your machine, can take anywhere from one to two minutes. And if you do have an extremely clogged filter, it's going to take a little bit longer. Once I see that my line is completely clear, I'm going to go ahead and put that back. And what I'm doing now is just dripping the flushing solution out of the print head. Now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and close my number three valve and I'm going to walk over here and start taking some stuff apart. So I'm going to close off the line completely and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the four screws that hold on the cover. Set those off to the side. Just be careful you don't drop the screws. Now to make it a little bit easier to remove this cover, you can take all these bottom purge valves and turn them up, and that way the cover slides off nice and easily. Now depending on how much slack you have, you may have to disconnect the ink line from the top purge valve or the manual three-way valve. So just unscrew that, and then we're just gonna undo the quick connect at the bottom, and then take the top one off as well. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our new filter. Now the one thing that you need to be very careful about is these are directional. And on the top of the filter, it will say in, so the ink actually flows in through the top, so that way you need to make sure it goes back in the same way. We'll connect that back up. We'll take the twist connect and connect it to the bottom. Make sure everything is nice and tight. And then we're gonna connect it to the top manual three-way valve again. Just make sure that's nice and tight as well. So that's done and your filter is now replaced. We're gonna move these back up to install the cover back again. Put these back down for now. Now when tightening these back up also, they don't need to be extremely tight. You just need to snug them up so that they stay in place. All right. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to flow the filter with flushing solution first just to get the liquid going through it. So once again, my number three head, I'm going to take the top manual three-way valve and put that to the second position. And then I'm going to take my bottom purge valve and put it to the 12 o'clock position. I'm going to press and hold the F button for just a few seconds. After about four to five seconds, I'm going to turn that. So now the flushing solution is running out of the print head. Okay, the next step that we're going to go ahead and do is we're actually going to introduce ink back into the system. So I'm going to take number three again, and I'm going to take the top manual three-way valve, and I'm going to point it straight down. And then I'm going to take the purge valve and put it back to the 12 o'clock position. And then over here in PCS, you have your all button. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press and hold that. But it is extremely important that when you do this, you can only press and hold it for about five to six seconds max because it will empty your sub tank and the sub tank does need to automatically fill itself back up. Thousand one, two, three, four, five. Now in the STE models, you have an LCD screen that sits behind your keyboard. And on the ST models, this actually is displayed and visible for everybody to see. So my number one box, the line in it is scrolling up and down. That's telling me that my sub tank is filling. So I'm just gonna sit here and wait until that line stops and my S tank low gray one message goes away. Okay, so now it says ready. The number one box has stopped scrolling, so that means my sub tank is full. So what I'm gonna do now is the exact same thing, but about halfway through, I'm gonna take that bottom purge valve that's at the 12 o'clock position and I'm gonna turn it back to the nine o'clock position, allowing the ink to flow out of the printhead. This eliminates any chance of air pockets from forming. Thousand one, two, three, four, five. And once again, I'm gonna wait for my sub tank to fill itself back up. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and we'll open up all three of the printheads, and we're gonna go ahead and do an auto cleaning. So we're back and ready, so I can tilt that forward. Printhead number two, the valve's gonna go all the way down, and same thing with printhead number one. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and activate an auto clean, and this is gonna drip ink out of all three printheads, pressurizing itself across all three of them evenly, and it'll go ahead and wipe the bottom of the heads for us. So while that's getting ready, I'm gonna go ahead and load a screen in so we can do a nozzle check. Okay, we're back in ready mode. Just checking back here to make sure my sub tank did fill up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do nozzle check. And that's how you replace your 20 micron black disc filter in your iImage ST and STE ones. That my head number three block is completely black back now. Now you're ready to start printing for the rest of the day. And that's how you replace your 20 micron black disc filter.